Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 24th, 2018. Well, we sure had a wild roller coaster ride yesterday with the Dow gapping down from a Monday's close down more than 500 points um, in the move lower yesterday and then we got a major case of whiplash whipping right back up on that intraday moving us back up where we're only down about 120 points now this morning we have been all over the place uh, first thing this morning when I looked at the futures in fact I wrote in the morning note this morning looking at more than a 100 point gap down and that has already changed um, because of earnings this morning we're still whipping around considerably this morning um, and right now we're looking at a bullish open here this morning so keep in mind that if we do catch a rally we have to look at the chart objectively now if we take a look at price resistance we can see we have a significant price resistance point right there and we also have a significant price resistance point right here and keep in mind we're gapping up but we're gapping up to a point that's still well below resistance so anytime the market moves sharply higher um, into a resistance level we want to respect that and pay attention to the possibility that that is exactly where we could catch a reversal so I would really want to recommend everyone be careful chasing into this morning gap it's wonderful to see the bulls trying to fight back and come back into the market we want to see that happen but we also have to be wise on how we um, move into the market now, bottoms like this really inspire an emotion of, of a fear of missing out. Oh my gosh, I'm going to miss out if I don't hurry up and jump in. But please keep in mind the volatility is so high right now. You could jump into a trade that looks just absolutely perfect and get quickly whipped out of that trade. Let's keep in mind two days in a row last Friday. Last Thursday, I should say three days in a row, and Monday, we gapped up and sold off into the day. Is that possible today? It absolutely is with volatility running above a 12 or 20 handle. It is easily possible so keep that in mind when you're planning your trading day now if you're already in some long trades if you picked up some long trades yesterday congratulations they're working out really well and i hope you would consider taking some profits maybe in this gap up open remember gaps are gifts and when we get a market gapping in our direction and a market as volatile as this it's always wise to take some profits put some money in the bank reduce the risk on the overall position or take the position off completely banking those profits because we know the whipsaw of this market can quickly change um, how that appears. Let's take a look at um, the cues. The cues had a really nice hold of a support level yesterday. We dipped below the support level, and unfortunately, it, it, you know, we we cut right through it there for uh, a little while yesterday. But you can see this price support area right in here is holding on to the cues, and that's a good sign that we may have found a little bit of support, and that we're looking to um, hold that. Now, also keep in mind we have a price resistance level right here and multiple price resistance levels as we start coming up so this gap up this morning we have to be cautious about that gap up and not chase that move remember we have a tremendous number of earnings coming out in the next couple of days and anything is truly possible here so watch that close let's take a quick look at the spy spy a very similar situation to the Qs, the S&P 500 holding on to this level of support. 
sinking down there pretty hard but let's not forget we have lots of levels of resistance in here that could certainly affect um, this trade and this is a very very sick index at the moment if we take a look at our moving averages on this notice we are well below the 200 day moving average any rally back toward that 200 day moving average we can expect possible resistance to come into play and so we'll want to watch that closely let's take a quick look at IWM talk about a sick index IWM has been very very sick um, well below I mean well below its 200 day moving average and we have reached out it came really really close yesterday uh, from tagging this level right here in support okay so any rally back you can see any rally back has got multiple levels of resistance above this is an ugly ugly downtrend so we'll have to watch or be suspect of any rally back that we could run into resistance and see a failure occur at that level now one thing is i hope that doesn't occur i i have to recognize the fact that that's the a possibility but when we take a look at t21 22 which is the four week new high new low ratio and we take a peek at that we are down here in this bullish reversal zone so you can see when this indicator dips down into these areas we normally get some kind of rally and we did get that you know last week we got that rally right there that immediately pulled back so we should get some kind of a rally off of this just from an oversold condition but that doesn't mean it's going to be smooth in fact i would expect it to be very volatile um, lots of whipsaws intraday lots of fast price action so even though we are in that oversold condition right now it may be very challenging and uh, very very difficult to profit for um, a lot of traders because of that whippy price action that we could easily experience so always remember that cash is a position when the market is like this and you feel that you have no edge there's no shame in standing aside and just waiting for better times to pick up positions uh, remember a big part of trading is protecting your capital making sure that you can live to fight another day and we don't have to trade a highly volatile market where we have very little edge remember this is a very quick price action market and it could be very very challenging for a lot of folks so there's no shame in standing aside and waiting for better trades so with with this oversold condition i do favor some kind of a rally but it, it's going to be very very challenging let's take a look at the vix here really quickly if we if we go to the vix you can see we have done just about everything you know it's amazing how support resistance and trend really help you visualize a chart and see things so we had this price support here we rallied up into this area which was a, a long-term resistance point and broke through we ended up breaking straight through this little price resistance and that price resistance held a support and we rallied off of that now we got that pullback yesterday because of the nice rally and we could see a little more pullback but let's keep in mind we're still up here in really high volatile times in the market and anything is possible these earnings continue to roll out we'll want to watch this level down here if we push down into here for the potential of another bounce and that would create a w type bottom so hopefully that doesn't occur hopefully we will see some of that fear start to subside and we break on lower testing a level of support down in here so hopefully we get that pullback now a little bit of calming in the market we've got tons of technical damage to recover from this will not happen easily and we will likely see some big back and forth price action moves over the next several weeks and even months trying to recover from uh, such technical damage in the market okay just like we did in february 
Let's take a um, take a quick peek. We had um, an earnings report from Boeing this morning, and Boeing reported a really good earning report and gapped up here. Now, the reason I want to show you this is we have over 200 companies reporting earnings today. We have more than 300 companies reporting earnings tomorrow. We can expect a lot of price um, whip in the market. There's some very big names coming out over the next couple of days, and we'll want to watch that closely. Some of the big techs will be reporting tomorrow and this afternoon so that can really move a market around quickly and we want to um, uh, we want the market to settle down and calm down but there's a very good chance that tomorrow morning will be another gap in the market so consider that when you're considering your edge for the day um, let's take a quick look at the economic calendar we have a few things on the economic calendar that could move the market around a little bit today. We have um, new home sales coming out at 10, most likely to move the market around. We do have PMI flash. Sometimes if that number is a surprise, that could move the market around. And then we have EIA uh, petroleum status report. Now this number is never forecast forward, but it does have the potential if there's a large build in, in U.S. supplies or a large decline in U.S. supplies can certainly affect those oil service markets and move the market around. We have a parade of Fed speakers today. One, two, three, four, five Fed speakers today. Um, obviously they have the potential if they said something um, uh, volatile that could move the market around um, regarding interest rates. So keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Please click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I really appreciate it. And everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best and a very profitable day. Please remember, if you're struggling as a trader, don't give up on yourself. Get in there, dig in, recommit yourself to learning to trade price action, learning that price action. And if we can be of help here, we'd love to help you. I want to see traders do a better job. And one of my major passions is helping traders um, reach a level um, that they're comfortable in their trading and they can competently um, take profits consistently. So with that, everyone, take care. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you all very, very soon, bright and early Thursday morning.